Hello, hello, and uh, very nice to see you. Thank you. Thanks for coming. <laughs> uh, long time no see. I've been really working a lot, and I do run a company. Um, I, I have a cleaning company, and I really have been putting in the hours. Uh, so, But I really have been having a lot of things on my mind, and here's one thing that I would like to talk about. Um, oh, first of all, I am going to be hosting a meetup. It's going to be, in, we kind of do two meetups. We have, I do one with Christian, and I also have another little meetup I'm going to be planning in Studio City in sunny Los Angeles. So if you're around, make sure to, uh, well, I haven't picked an exact time yet, but uh, I'll, I'll, I'll put out some announcements as soon as I can for that. That's pretty cool. I've got a couple shops that I brought on board, so, you know, hopefully I can get a bunch of you guys to come and support, because I like merchant adoption, and, um, uh, yeah, actually, I was, so I'll, I'll tell you, I'll, I have a few things to say. First thing, uh, so I have a client, and I started to talk with her, I was cleaning her windows, and then we started to find things in common and we started to talk about things like government and uh, taboo things that you should not talk about but we did agree on many things and so it was very easy for us to find find uh, mutual understanding and we ended up talking about finances and so she uh, has heard of Bitcoin before but she had never had it and so I I just thought, well, this is just an awesome way for me to. I said, would you like me to? Would you have you ever had any Bitcoin? And she said, no, I, I I'm not really sure. I've only heard about it. And then I said, well, it's great because I, I'm going to text you some over to your phone, uh, you know, once I'm done the job. And I did. And there, you know, and she's like, wow, this is, this is totally cool. It's totally different than I thought it would be. And, uh, yeah, I just explained to her that there's a lot to learn, but that it is basically peer-to-peer -peer cash. And so in, in that situation, uh, my, my main talk today uh, is, is sort of relating to that. So that person now has, uh, you know, has been onboarded and they have a positive outlook towards uh, that product. Uh, Bitcoin Cash, and what I want to talk about is that peer-to-peer -peer cash should be spread peer-to-peer, -peer. and I want you to think about the history of Bitcoin, and think about how it has grown um, in the way that has, it, you, you find like, uh, I, I believe that peer-to-peer -peer cash should be, as a novelty, this is a novelty, should be grown through peer-to-peer -peer, uh, usage. And the reason why is because what it needs is that human touch, that communication, that extra little bit of communication of a real person who can sort of answer some questions and make it safe and make it cool or add some kind of emotional uh, connection to the product, okay? And this is something that you got to think about, too, is that uh, it, it is kind of hard work. Imagine onboarding everyone one by one. Yeah, okay, well, fuck, there's a lot of people. <laughs> Um, but, and, and most of them, you'll send them some, some small amount of tips or whatever, or buy something, and they may not, uh, at that point, actually get involved heavily. And that's okay. So what you're doing, though, is you're creating these little islands of people who now have a positive outlook about it. And that, in turn, spreads so that the next time they hear about it, they think something positive. And that's how you grow. That's what it means to grow a peer-to-peer -peer network. Um, there's no, there's no way around that at this point. Okay, that's the way that uh, we are promoters, and that we can share something good with people, and we should be proud to do so. Uh, you know, like there is no big company that's just going to come in at this stage and do that for you. 
maybe one day, but we're not really at that point. And so we need to, we need to be very clear about our role and our own personal responsibility and how much of that role we want to take on. And it's an individual thing. It depends on how shy you are, um, how busy you are. Um, it depends on your real life. But incorporating it into your real life is really uh, how you can expand this thing peer to peer, okay? No uh, database or mega super computer is going to do that for us. It needs that human touch, okay? And that's sort of a, bur sort of a bad thing and a good thing uh, because it's, well, you, it's bad because you know it's going to be a lot of work, but it's good because each new person that we do contact uh, gets that high quality uh, contact and they get sort of safe pointed and get a positive experience with it and I've had a fair number of people make fun of me for that they think oh that'll, that'll take forever man you can't do that but actually if you think about it if you take one person and let's say you you shared something with one other person and then the next day both of you shared that thing you'd have four people right and then if all four people shared that thing the next day with just one person you'd have eight and obviously this is not a real life example but the concept is the power of growing through multiplication in that way so that's what you're doing you're planting little seeds and really um there's no great machine that's going to come along and water those seeds for you yet. And so you just have to do it yourself and you have to find a way to have fun with it. So in this way and with these thoughts, I believe that peer-to-peer -peer cash has to be grown peer-to-peer. -peer. And please tell me what your thoughts are about that. Can we do it with a big robot is there a big robot that can come in and do this for us um, maybe but I'm not waiting for it so let me know your thoughts thank you